the uh, next thing to try and do is see what the uh, stiffness of the diaphragm is there and here and uh, what I have is a little capsule container full of lead weights a bit of plastic at the bottom to protect the diaphragm rubber bands to hold it on of course and uh, what I've been doing is placing it on there now, some extra lead weights if you can just see when I hit it it's still hitting the diaphragm so it's it's just floating on it so I try a few different weights that's definitely hit it this isn't very scientific so what I'm trying to do is simply adjust it to how I think it is the same with all of them in other words just be consistent so I'm trying to feel for a a point where yes it's touching the the diaphragm but only just That one's really sturdy. I think here it still has a little bit of wobbliness because it's a fairly wide bottom, but it is it is touching and that's what I've been going by uh, you can use your own uh, specific measurement uh, possibly if I used a smaller diameter base it would be a little bit easier but this is what I have all right so I'm going with that now try the other center well that appears to have hit the bottom and very little floatiness take that off yep that that's about the same sort of feel as I had over there but slightly less weight so now I weigh both of these okay now one of them was that 111 and the other half was 120 these appear to be a little bit lower than uh, than my other ones but uh, oh, it is what it is so I'll, I shall continue this and uh, collate the uh, the numbers for each of the uh, panels that I've previously done measurements on for resonance. See you shortly. I've been through all of my panels and uh, the overall weight which gave me uh, what I wanted was 136 grams using uh, my li little graph here and uh, it ac it's actually equal to the average 136 grams for all of the uh, the late model and earlier model uh, panels I've got. The early Q model panels have 130 grams. The latter QBC panels have 149 grams on average. A reminder of what we're aiming for is uh, an active 
frequency resonance of uh, 68 Hertz. Now we get to the crux of the matter. Don't get overwhelmed by it all. I'll, I will simply uh, say, say what I need to say here. I've tried to get really good information out of uh, doing this, but I'm not so sure. Anyway, uh, I'll describe a few of the things that I have found. In the uh, left lower graph, we have uh, my active resonance compared to uh, the weights that I was putting on for all panels. And the, the star that's marked is where it, it should be, um, 68 hertz, uh, with using 160 grams of weight. Now, it's sort of in the line of the graph, but it uh, it then sort of goes up quite a bit and, and off the chart. So while it's, it's in the realm of uh, what it needs to be, it's nothing really helpful. Next, the left upper graph Likewise, comparing the, the weights to the uh, passive resonance. And uh, it's, it's also sort of near the line, but not, nothing uh, to write home about. Uh, I couldn't rely upon this to, to determine what weight I should use to match the resonance. No way at all. It's uh, not, not really helpful. <laughs> The right-hand graph at the top is uh, for the newer panels. And what I would expect here is that uh, a cluster of points around about the 69 hertz. And I sort of get that. So that's probably the best result I've got out of this uh, investigation. The lower right-hand graph is uh, for the earlier ones and it uh, it's basically uh, useless there's there's only uh, three points of information and uh, nothing to be gained by that so so essentially the only real uh, one of uh, use in all of this is the top right hand graph where the cluster is pretty close to uh, where the uh, the hot point needs to be, uh, that is 149 grams at 68 or 69 hertz for the new panels. And uh, that's, uh, I think, about as good as a result as I get from any of this. However, having said that, the, uh, the weights that I did uh, find, the graphs being repeated here temporarily, uh, semi-useful in uh, finding my way in the dark as to uh, uh, what it should be. But I think in the final analysis, I, I will be using speaker resonances as the, the uh, optimum way of determining the tension on the, on the panels. As an exercise, I, I thought uh, while I'm at it to compare the powered resonance against the passive resonance. And so here the two of them are together. Ideally, it should be a, a straight line as I've made a guess there. Where the star is, is the actual uh, optimum uh, comparison between the two. And it's sort of in the middle of the uh, the green line, uh, but, uh, but it's a pretty wobbly curve and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. I will, however, follow this uh, star point as a uh, guiding light in determining the tension on my uh, diaphragms. In other words, uh, aim for uh, 83 uh, in the passive mylar with half the for frame when I'm stretching the mylar and. Uh, and goodness willing, this should give me uh, a uh,
passive 68 hertz resonance when when the panel is put back together we shall see